Hey everyone, welcome back to Ruth and Ruby. Today's video is really exciting because we're going to be using the brand new spring 2023 IOD release. We're going to start with some cute little plant stakes and I'm going to give these little paint stir sticks a coat of gator hide and that is going to seal those up well enough to where they can go down in the pot and not rot. Then we're going to give it a coat of paint. I'm using sea glass and Bunker Hill blue here. All right, so we're going to take our quick set amazing casting resin and pour that into the molds. So this is what the finished cast looks like. Now I'm going to attempt to paint it to make it look realistic. So I have a photo pulled up on the internet of what a hummingbird actually looks like, and I'm just trying to paint it close to that, as close to that as possible. So I'm just using some Plum Crazy by Dixie Bell, and this is Evergreen by Dixie Bell. All of these I'm just blending. This is Fusion Putty and a little bit of coffee bean. And I'm just blending all of those together to make it as look, look as realistic as possible. Okay, now we're gonna do a little frog and I don't want you to sit here and watch me paint castings forever, but what I do want you to see is how you can take just a little bit of different color to make them look a little bit more realistic. So I took just a little bit of coffee bean on the top of that little frog and you see that he looks just not quite so bright green. And on this dragonfly, I'm using a combination of evergreen and Annabelle and Blue and Dixie Belle. And we want to just play with those colors, blend them just a little bit together to get the most realistic look. And I'm going to take the Bunker Hill Blue and do the body of my little dragonfly. Now, here's where the magic happens. This is my favorite part. I'm using Dixie Belle's Chameleon Wax. And that is such a cool product because it changes color, which hence the name. So what you see in the can is not necessarily what you're going to get so when you put it on there and you get this beautiful iridescent lavender and now i am going to do the little body in the same chameleon wax and it just gives a little something extra okay i'm using the chameleon wax in apricot on my little frog and he might be a little extra he's he ends up looking a little bougie but he's still pretty cool what do you guys think let me know below oh there's my mama's arm there we had such a fun day in the studio this day she and Ashayla were here helping me um you know make some things and get ready for this new release so we had a ton of fun and that is my biggest thing that I want to encourage you guys to do is you know when you get some of these products invite a friend over and have some fun. You know, if you're a, a maker for resale, it doesn't have to be work, work, work all the time. I encourage you to just stop every now and then and make something for yourself to have some fun because burnout is a real thing. And you guys have to make sure that you're taking a break and doing something fun, something different that you love in order to avoid that. Okay, you'll see here when I'm doing this little turtle, I'm actually getting a little bit of the paint coming back off too. I love that, but if you want to avoid that, I would probably put a matte sealer on top of your little castings before you paint them in order to make it stick a little better. Now, also, we were doing this really quickly, like, you know, the paint had just barely dried. So now we're going to take some Gorilla Super Glue and glue these little guys onto the sticks and need a little more. And you'll see later on in the video, I actually end up changing to the regular Gorilla Glue glue because I did not love this stuff. It was like, I don't know, goopy and gelatinous, but I don't know. It was just weird. So anyway, not a fan. I definitely want to stick with the regular Gorilla Glue or some E6000. Those are my two favorites. Okay, I decided this little hummingbird needed just a little bit more too, you know, because I can't leave anything alone. So I'm adding the gold gilding wax by Dixie Bell, which is amazing. If you do not have the gold gilding wax by Dixie Bell, you are missing out. This stuff is so good. Now, um, if I could go back and redo it, I would not put it on the stick. I didn't like how streaky that ended up. However, I'm still incredibly happy with my little hummingbird. Okay, next up is the most amazing transfer, but listen, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, I'm probably gonna call this the wrong thing. Okay, it is pronounced Mio's, but I'm probably gonna call it Millet's because that's just the way it looks in English, and I'm just a girl from the country, so here we go. Anyways, you see all the amazingness in this thing. There are so many components to make so many different things. Fish, um, you know, all the butterflies, I love it so much and I'm gonna cut out this little floral piece right here because I have the perfect little half bucket to put it on so this is the biggest thing that I want to point out on this transfer is that they're 
are so many, many pieces and details crammed into it that you are getting so much bang for your buck. And I'm going to cut this little piece off right here because where I'm going to put it, I feel like that was a little bit heavy. So you'll see, I'm going to take that little piece here in just a minute and put it on the other side. So I'm handing the, the stick over to Ashayla. Ashayla is my new part-time helper. And in here in just a second, I'm going to give her a little instruction here. <laughs> she told me to leave this part out of the video, but I told her it was too funny. So she is going to put that on there for me and I'm going to show you how we're going to add the other little piece down here in the corner. You see it down there? Perfect. Just to make that look a little bit more visually appealing for the particular project I'm putting it on. Next up is the La Compagnie stamp. And I'm going to get that wrong every time. I guarantee it. So um, don't forget when you open up a brand new set of stamps, the first thing you need to do is condition those just to give your your stamps a little bit of tooth for your medium to stick to. So I'm just using a piece of 220 here and going to rotate it 90 degrees and do the other side. Okay, another thing that I highly recommend that you have in your IOD stash is thin mounts. And I love these so much more than the sheets that the stamps come with because they're thicker. So not only can you cut them down to size on how you want them, you've got your grid lines for, you know, lining things up and making it straight, but they're also thicker. So they are a little bit easier to hold. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave this in here because it was an epic fail. So I'm going to leave a link for these coasters in the description down below, but I did not like the way this looked. It was I, I wish that I had moved that out of the out of the way, but I was like, uh. so I'm going to show you how we're going to fix this. So that wood was incredibly porous because it's just raw wood. I'm going to go over these because I want to leave them natural. I'm going to go over these with some Dixie Belle Boss um, in the clear. So now after that has dried and I go back over it and you see it was so much better. And then I sealed them up with some gator hide and they are now usable coasters because the water will not soak into the, into the wood. Okay. I had to leave this one in here too, because this is so stinking precious. Lainey wanted to paint. So I gave her a little peat pot and she painted it in fusion rose water. And here she goes. Now we cut her out a little portion of that millet's transfer and she's cut or she's um, rubbing her little butterfly on there. And I'm going to leave the actual audio in here in just a minute. You'll hear her talking because she is quite vocal about what she wants and how she wants her pot to be. Paired it off. In a minute. You got to finish getting it on there first. That's my one. Oh, here, put it up here in the camera view. Put it up here in the camera view so that everybody can see what you're doing. Okay. Okay. Just be my. This is smaller. No, 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 no. This go right here. This go right here. Okay. Good job. Is Lenny. that perfect? Yes. You think so? Mm-hmm. Or do we? This go that way. It does. Yes. Okay. You wanna put some moss in there? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Put it in. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Let's poke your flowers in now. You want to? Yes. I'll put those in these. Yeah, we're going to put some in there. Oh. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool? Oh, me too. Okay, put it in. We're going to put those in. Mm-hmm. We got that from Walmart. Um, I did actually get them from Walmart, yes. <laughs> so we're going to take them? Mm-hmm. All right, let's put some moss in there and then we'll see if we need some more flowers, okay? Okay, I'm gonna do this out. Oh, well, here, do it yourself. Put it in. Whoa, shot. Mm hmm, put it in. Do you love it? Yeah. Okay, let's show them. Okay, let's go take a picture of it. No. Can I know that was a little longer than I would normally put in the video, but it was so cute and she was so proud of what she accomplished. I had to leave it in for you guys. Look, this is her taking her picture. She would not even let Ashayla help her hold the camera. She wanted to do it. She was so proud. And I love how her little pot turned out. So we're going to list this on RuthRuby.com. So if anybody wants to purchase it, I'll leave the link down below. And thank you so much for watching. And now I'm just going to let you take a look at our finished products.
Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Be sure to like and comment below. That really helps me make more videos for you.